Welcome. Want to look at the measures of central tendency? And for the measures of central tendency, they have three common ones. We have the mean, mode, and median. And the first example we want to look at is ungrouped data. The example is the weight in kilograms of 10 students in a classroom is given there. 45, 68, 52, 49, 50, 58, 59, 55, 50, and 44. And therefore, we want to calculate the mean, the mode, and the median of the given data. The mean is also what we call the average value. And the mean is given by the summation of x divided by n. So what's the difference? n is the number of students. So n is equals to the 10 students. And x are their respective weights. So basically, if we want to get the mean, which can also be written as x bar, we pronounce this as x bar, we want to compute the x bar and the x bar is given by 1 over 10 of the next set of values 45 plus 68 plus 52 plus 49 plus 50 plus 58 plus 59 plus 55 plus 50 plus 44 we sum all those and this has a 530 divided by 10 after you do the summation of that and that means the average or the mean weight is 53 kilograms so the average weight is 53 kilograms so the mode is the most frequent value the most frequent value and uh, when we look through the data we find that it's only one value that appears more than once the others only appears once and that is the 50 kgs and since the 50 kilograms uh, appears more than once so we say the mode is 50 kilograms because mode is the most frequent value and the last value that we want to compute for the ungrouped data is what we call the median and the median is the mid row value and so how do we get the mid row value we organize our data in ascending manner or ascending form or ascending order and so we have 44 45 49 50 we also have another 50 there and 50. so when we look at these values because they are 10 then we realize that uh, these two values are the ones at the center uh yes those two values so then i can say the median is given by 50 plus 52 divided by 2 which is 102 divided by 2 which is 51 and so you see that uh, our median is 51 kilograms so that is how we compute the median value for the ungrouped data and also for the mode and for the mean. So the next step is to look at grouped data. For the grouped data, we are told that a group of 50 adults cholesterol levels were measured and tabulated below. So those who had the cholesterol level of between 120 and 129, there were four adults. Those who had 130 to 139, there were 6. And those who had between 140 to 149, there were 17. Those who had 150, 159 they were 13 and those who had 160 to 169 were 10 and therefore if we calculate this we see that we had a total of 50 adults 
Now we are told to calculate the mean, the median, and the mode for the data, and that is what we want to do next. We have the same data, and uh, what we want to do with the data this time is we want to fill in these values. What we want to get, the first thing is the CF, which is the cumulative frequency. The first value is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 17 is 27. 27 plus 13 is 40. And 40 plus 10 is 50. What is the midpoint? The midpoint is 129 plus 120. Then divide by 2. And that will give me 124.5. And then 130 plus 139 divided by 2 is 134.5. 140 plus 149 divided by 2 is 144.5. And then I have 150 plus 159 divided by 2 is 154.5. And then 160 plus 169 is 164.5. How do I get the f of x? It is f times x, and my midpoint automatically becomes my x value. So f times x, so it is 4 times 124.5 is 498. And then we have 6 times 134.5 is 807. And then we have 17 times 144.5 is 2456.5. And then we have 13 times 154.5 is 2008. Point five, and the last one is 10 times 164.5 is 1645. And when we sum all that, it will give me 7415. We have one, uh, which is uh, the x bar, which is given by, remember, for the ungrouped data, we said summation of f, but now it is summation of fx. The fx we've just got divided by the summation of the frequencies. And we can know how many frequencies they are. We can see there are 50 people. So it is 74, 15 divided by 50. And that will give us 148.3. So the average cholesterol levels in this group of 50 adults is 148.3. And the median. There is a formula for grouped data when you are dealing with the median. It's given by L plus n over 2 minus the sum of the frequencies of the median divide by the frequency of the median times c so what are these the first thing is we need to be able to get the median class so that we understand this now what is our median class is it the class at the center? No, not exactly. It is the person, the middle person, the median person, which class that that person fall. Now, there are 50 values. If I was to divide 50 by 2, I would get 25. And we find that the 25th person lives in the class of 140 to 149. It is very important to get that median class. Definitely, it's an even number. It should be between class 25 and 26. Uh, because the median person is the mid, sorry, the median person is the person number 25 and 26. So, it automatically means that our median class is 40 to 149. And so, if that is the case, then what is L? L is the lower class boundary. What is the lowest class boundary for that class. Remember the previous class is 130 to 139 and this is 140 to 149. So L will be between 139 and 140 so it will be 139.5. The class interval I'll take the highest value that is 149.5 minus 139.5 and I'll find that the class interval which is C is given by 10. N is the number of values, and in this case, there are 50. So, because there are 50 and dots that we have. And FM is the frequency of the median class. So, our median class is 140 to 149. So, what is the frequency? The frequency is 17. What about summation of F? M. 
This is you sum all the frequencies lower than the median class. And so which, fre which frequencies are lower than the median class? It is 4 and 6. And so that will give me 10. So with all those values, then I can get the median, which will be 139.5 plus 50 divided by 2 minus 10 over 17 then times 10 again. So those are the values that we have. And if we do the computations based on those values, we'll get uh, 139.5 plus 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25 minus 10 is 15. So it is 15 over 17 times 10. And that will give us approximately 148.324. And that is the cholesterol level, the median cholesterol level that we have. The last is the, the mode, or the mode, yes, which is given by the formula L plus delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2 times C. Now, the first thing is we need to get the model class. Now, when you look at the data, which one is the model class? The model class is the class with the highest frequency. And so our model class is 140 to 149. So our L automatically then, it's similar to the one we had. It is 139.5 and our C will also be equals to 10. So what we need to find out is what is delta 1 and what is delta 2. So now I take you back to the diagram so that we can calculate the delta 1 and the delta 2. Here we are. So this is the, the, the class we are interested in. So when you subtract these two, you get delta 1. And when you subtract these two, you get delta 2. So we are saying delta 1 will be 17 minus 6. And delta 2 will be 17 minus 13. So delta 1 is you take the, the, the frequency of the model class, you subtract with the frequency of the class that is lower, that is the class lower to it. So you say 17 minus 6 and you get 13. Uh, sorry, 17 minus 6, you get 11. And then 17 minus 13, you get 4. And therefore, those are the two values that we are missing. So we have said for delta 1, it is 17 minus 6 is equals to 11. And this one will be 17 minus 13 is equals to 4. 